Good evening, I'm Sarah Sapsanama. Let's begin with the headlines of the hour. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal under intense pressure from all quarters to resign. UML quits to the Boston and Lumini province governments. Suspended General Secretary of Rashtra Swatantra Party raises questions on party's leadership, claims party chair Lami Chani's statements had dented party's image. As Israel's war on Gaza drags on for eight months, hundreds of thousands of Palestinian students forced to leave schools. And it's Argentina versus Ecuador in the quarterfinals of Copa America. The match to kick off at 6.45 a.m. Nepal time tomorrow. The impact of change in the central political equation is being seen in the province governments as well. Following the directive of the central leadership of the party, CPNUML has exited the Sudur Pashtim province government. UML has withdrawn the support extended to the province government. Three province ministers of CPNUML furnished their resignations to province chief minister Dirga Bahadur Sodadi. Those quitting the government were Bir Bahadur Thapa, who was soldiering the responsibility of the province Ministry of Forest, Environment and Cooperatives, Surendra Bahadur Pal, who was heading the Ministry of Financial Affairs, and Hira Sarki, who was leading the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Law. With the UML withdrawing its support, the province government led by CPN Unified Socialist Sodani has fallen into minority. On the second day of exiting the federal government, CPN UML has also quit the Lumini province government. Province ministers of UML met with Chief Minister Jok Bahadur Mahara and furnished their resignations. There were five ministers from UML in Mahara-led government. Mahara was elected the chief minister on 5th of April with the support of 48 province assembly members, including 29 members of CPN UML, 10 of CPN Maui Center, 4 from Nagarik Unmukti Party, 3 of Janata Samajwadi Party, 1 from CPN Unified Socialist and 1 independent member. Upendra Yadav-led Janata Samajwadi Party Nepal had withdrawn the support extended to the government on 23rd of June. Mahara-led government has now fallen into minority after UML withdrew its support. A total of 44 votes is required in the 87-member Lumini Province Assembly to generate a majority. With Nepali Congress and CPN UML joining hands, they have 56 seats in the Province Assembly. Having exited the government, CPNUML has drawn the government attention on not to take any decision or action with long-term impact. Issuing a notice, UML General Secretary Shankar Pokhrel has said that two largest parties of the federal parliament, which is Nepali Congress and CPNUML, had already reached an agreement for formation of a new government and therefore urged CPN Maui Centre Chair Pushpa Kamal Dahal led government not to take any decision or action with long-term impact. As current Prime Minister Dahal is no longer likely to generate a vote of confidence, the notice states that the government should not be making decisions with long-term impacts. It adds that the government has fallen into minority after the resignation of ministers from CPN UML. Pokhrel also urged all parties to join and support the process for formation of a national consensus government. Suspended General Secretary of Rashtra Swatantra Party, Mukul Dahal, Dhakal in fact, has made public the assessment report, including recommendations he had collected from 38 districts. The 32-page report notes that local members of RSP could not meet with the central members and questions were also raised on the party's chair, Ravi Lamichani. The report claims that disputed statements of party's chair, Lamichani, had caused damages to the entity. Dakal's report also notes that Home Minister Lamichane had assured of arresting G.B. Rai, who is alleged of being the mastermind of cooperatives fraud but had failed in taking required actions and also had failed to open files of large-scale corruption despite issuing several warnings. Cadres of the party have also raised questions on Lamichane for making his helpers during his time as a television presenter the central members of the party. The report has also alleged the party members of being driven by power affinity. Dakal has alleged the party of groupism, failing to assess performances, and the ministers from the party of disregarding the cadres by ignoring their phone calls. 
In the report, Dhakal has went on to say that a few members of the party could leave the country to settle in the United States of America before the next general elections. Dhakal has said that RSP had to suffer defeat in the by-election of Ilam because of Lami Chani's failure in answering the questions related to his alleged involvement in the fraud of cooperatives. The report also notes that the party has supported Nepali Congress General Secretary Gagan Thapa in the previous parliamentary election. Dakal has concluded that despite winning two electoral constituencies of Kathmandu, it had not created long-term benefits to the party. His report suggests collaboration with Kathmandu Metropolitan City Mayor Balendra Shah and Thangari Sub-Metropolis Mayor Gopi Hamal instead of forming alliances with CPN UML Chair KP Sharma Oli and CPN Maoist Centre Chair Pushpa Kamal Dahal. Dakal has said that the report was prepared after consulting with 2,079 individuals. Discussions were held by the Central Committee of RSP on the report throughout Wednesday. Following the discussions, the majority of the Central Committee decided to suspend Dhakal from the position of General Secretary for a period of seven days. Dhakal had attended the meeting with a symbolic protest as he had donned a cross of black tape over a mask and had said that he was not given an opportunity to share his statements. It is now time for our segment Public Pulse where you text us with your opinion. Public poll. But before today's question, let's take a look at the results from yesterday's poll. Yesterday we asked you, what do you term the symbolic protest of Rashtra Swatantra Party General Secretary at the Central Committee meeting with a mask? 26% voted for option A, consequence of not being allowed to speak, 39% for B, dissatisfaction with the leadership, and 35% for C, a publicity stunt. Here's today's question. Why do you think ministers from Rashtra Swatantra Party who are about to resign do not after visiting the Prime Minister? Your options are A. Weak decision making, B. Hopes for incumbent government, and C. An attempt to ploy. The voting is on. Type NEWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. We'll take a short break here. More news coming up. The Commission for the Investigation of Abuse of Authority, CIA, Office of the Auditor General and other regulating entities have been raising questions on the government aid for the agriculture sector. 61st report of the Office of the Auditor General has concluded that 31 billion rupees entering the sector in aid has not been properly utilized. With the objective of ensuring transparent distribution of funds following classification of the farmers, the government had announced of distributing farmers' identity cards. However, despite the lapse of three years since that announcement, the farmers have not been listed. Targeting more than 4 million farmers of the country, all three tiers of the government have been releasing more than 30 billion rupees for agriculture. However, government reports themselves have shown that the funds do not reach the actual farmers. Government had announced of listing of farmers and providing them with the identity cards to ensure the target groups have access to the funding. However, not even half of the farmers have been listed in the period of three years. The Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development has so far listed 1.9 million farmers and has said that the identity cards would be distributed from the coming fiscal year. During election campaigns, political parties had promised the farmers several social security programs, including pensions. However, the chapters of such assurances close on the day of conclusion of the voting. Actual farmers have also not been benefited from the aid amount allocated by the government for agriculture. A total of 1,910,000 farmers have been included in the listing of the farmers so far. Despite the government claiming that the farmer's identity card would be distributed from next year, there is no certainty about it. The Ministry of Agriculture has been providing aid with terms and conditions to the local levels for the listing of farmers. However, around 4 million farmers have been compelled to bear the brunt because of delay and lapses from the local levels. And in this context, in our Public Voice segment, today we've asked in several provinces why has the government remained indifferent towards the problems of farmers. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Yeah. 
आगे समस्या सा किसान को किसान क्या आया रब बुझ सक उन्हें मानसिक खटाई उनसे तो हम ना धामी उनको पीड़ा जान चाहो पीवी ना अनुदान का नाम और आमिजे सुन्नी करेगा चाहो तो तो बस्तो में किसानों के हाथ में नोपे को अवस्था सरकार ले हमले हमले गारे को उत्पादन किर्सी हरो बाजार में पुरे दे उन्हें हो बाहरे को नले दे उन्हें हो न्यूनतम समर्थन मूल्य तो कह रहा किसान ले उत्पादन कुछ गारंटी करो बने कृषि क्षेत्र में लगानी कम भरो सत्ता कसरी टिका उन्हें रा कसरी लम्बे उन्हें बनने कुरा मात्रे उसको ध्यान सा किसान ले चाहिए सरकार ले अलग है दिनों परे सरकार ले जाए किसान ही ना चाहिए अवस्था सा समय में दिन पुलाव दिगरा है ने पानी को असुविधा सा खाद मल को पानी जन जान तारो किसान रहा है घर ना परे हो राष्ट्रीय नीति नहीं चाहिए ना है ना नीति खाली कृषि कृषि बजेट बाँड़े तो भ्रष्टाचार धीरे भैया मैं हम भाग्यश्वर गांव के लिए वहाँ धीरे देखी आँ मैं अब यह पानी का छोड़ा दिन ये अलग बाँड़ का अनुदान हो इसको न कुछ उपयोगिता न इसको कुछ भोलि रिजल्ट आने संभावना मैं देख Israeli offensive in Gaza has killed more than 37 Palestinians so far. At the lack of adequate aids, famine looms in the enclave, and daily life has been a struggle for hundreds of thousands in the Strip. But as the war drags on for over eight months, Palestinian students have also been forced to leave schools. 18-year-old Mazd Hamad dreams of becoming a doctor. But the war in Gaza has left his textbooks buried under the rubble amid relentless Israeli bombardment. It has forced him, along with thousands of other young Palestinians, to miss his final high school exams. I was displaced from my house and there were many books in there. I was hoping to get high grades, but my house was destroyed and my books remain under the rubble. Hamad and his family are now living in a classroom at a school designated as a shelter after being forced early in the war to flee their home in Beit Hanun. I'm sad that I missed this school year. I am sad because this classroom I currently live in, I would have been taking exams in and I was hoping to get high grades and graduate from this class and become a doctor. Palestinian officials say it is the first time in decades that high school exams went ahead without the participation of students in Gaza. Some 40,000 high school students in Gaza would normally be taking their exams around this time. A further 10,000 are doing so in the Israeli-occupied West Bank and the diaspora, and they would usually all take the exams at the same time. As the war drags on for over eight months, more than 500,000 Palestinian students have been forced to leave schools. دكتور يتخرج وين نفرع عليه وننبسط بس بالآخر إنه هذا الفصل طلع لا مأوى إن نحمي نفسنا بس من الحرب من القصف ما نشوفش حتى المناظر اللي إحنا بنشوفها نحافظ على أولادنا من أي قصف من أي خوف بيصير حوالينا. Life for many of Gaza's 2.3 million residents has become a daily struggle to survive amid Israel's military onslaught, the spread of hunger. And shortages of basic items. Gaza's education ministry has said that 450 high school students had been killed since the war erupted last October. Other Palestinian data shows more than 350 teachers and academics have been killed, while all 12 of Gaza's higher education institutions have been destroyed or damaged. The Israeli offensive in Gaza has so far killed more than 37,600 Palestinians and laid waste to most of the tiny, densely populated enclave. That is all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Good night.